but we miss Christ if that's our end goal. This fullness, this substance is in Christ, and it's not just something we seek to attain based on principle alone. It's not just about being a good Christian. It's not just about doing the right things. That's when we bring law back into this and it gets all messy. It's because in him, in Christ, we are given strength to face the temptations of the opposition. It's because in him we are changed. Our indulgent desires are replaced with righteous ambition. Our spiritual cowardice and apathy are replaced with spirit-filled competency and sacrifice. If you are in Christ, I want you to pay attention to your heart right now. If you are in Christ, deep, deep down, deep down, you may not have felt this in 20 years, but it's there. If you are in Christ, deep, deep down, you desire to be free from the ties that bind you because you have tasted the freedom of the Lord. Deep, deep down, you desire to be free of the passions of your flesh from the sin that clings and distracts and maligns. Deep, deep down, under the cares of the world and the mortgage and the kids and whatever else, you desire to be free from being a slave to what feels good all the time. Deep, deep down, you desire to be used in the hands of a mighty God. You want to be in the game. Deep, deep down even though your flesh tells you every day that you don't have time. Deep, deep down, you want your life to count and to make a difference in the lives of others. Because that's what the freedom of Christ inspires in us. That's what true freedom tastes like. That's what true freedom feels like. Those are the desires of true freedom. And that's what Paul's getting at here is when the truth gets buried and masqueraded by this effort to just look good or get on with our life or live a good life, we miss out on living out of the freedom that's been purchased for us. And that means being free from passions. That means seeing further freedom from the slavery to always doing what feels good. Deep, deep down, you want to reciprocate the sacrifice of Christ with a life of your own sacrifice. Deep down, that is what you want. And at one point, you probably felt that and tasted it. And this was not out of guilt or obligation or this sense of, you know, holy Christian duty. But it was because when you tasted and saw that the Lord is good, your heart leapt, your eyes filled with tears, and you said, this is the only appropriate response for what he's done for me. Deep down, this desire is there. But what happens is that we live in a world that keeps telling you to live for yourself. It keeps telling you that you deserve this, that, and the other. And what happens is through years, we waver in between those worlds. We come in on Sunday, and we hear the word preached, and that little bit of our heart that deep, deep down wants this freedom that Paul's talking about quivers and shakes, and we know that deep down that's what we want. But we also know that deep down that's going to require sacrifice. That's going to require aligning our worship to the head and not these other things. We waver in between worlds, never fully satisfied in either. So we settle for half-hearted adherence to both. And the most pleasure we get is the affirmation of others, so we posture. When deep down, deep down, and I think the Spirit is telling you deep down that you've tasted this and you want it. There is an adventure of freedom free from indulgence of the flesh, being the master, an adventure that beckons. Friends, family, myself, will we answer this call today? Will we stop trying to make ourselves look so good before God and others and instead worship fully the God who desires to set us free? to live in light of the freedom that he has purchased us and to stop worrying so much about how our life looks and worry more about how our life is lived. 
attached to the head. We have no power in ourselves to bring this about, but we have great strength if we let him be strong for us. But the longer we we tarry, the longer we, we try to build ourselves up out of our insecurity of our relationship with the head, the more our pride's going to be based on these things on the outside, and we're going to miss out on the life and the freedom that Christ offers and promises to change us with on the inside. 